Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dak Dak, and today we're starting a brand new series. So, we are playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, we did a series on the first one. It ended in complete chaos. So, I ended up with a storm that hit the island, and all my carnivores broke out. I think the raptors and the Indominus Rex or something went a bit ham and started killing everything and everyone. So, yeah, that was a fun time. But, um, I've not actually got this game. Well, purchased this game. I have got this game, obviously. I'm, I'm playing it. Aqua X Blue bought this game for me because she wanted to see how fun it would be to um, play the next one. I don't know why you didn't just play yourself, Aqua. But anyway, here's a series because you bought it for me, so thank you very much. I'm not being ungrateful. I do appreciate it. Massively. Um, and we'll do the normal bits that I normally do. If you look in the description below, there's a link to Discord where you can come and join our little community that we've got going, play some games, possibly come in for some of the um, the community game nights that we have over on Twitch occasionally. And there's also a link down there to Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you could do that as well. Or you could just come and follow or subscribe on Twitch. But yeah, it's all up to you. I'll, I'll only mention it once throughout the start of this series and then that's it. So we're obviously going for campaign mode because, wait, what's... This story in this chaos theory, chaos theory mode allows players to revisit. Uh, no, no, we'll do the campaign. Thank you very much. So, for obvious reasons, Jurassic World. I've had this, to turn off the um, the copyright music begins. because I don't want copyright claims. A thanks. Scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. I should up for a little bit, yeah. So nature did what it does and unleashed. This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control, and the chaos brought something much worse. Surely his voice was copyrighted, right? For a right? moment, <laughs> we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. Yeah. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science the to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one oh, goal. That Moses survival. Saw. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity will have to find a way to work out their differences. Oh. Have they literally been scattered across the planet into, like, natural biomes for them? I'm fairly sure where I get, I'd, I'd have compies living around here. There's, like, a forest at the bottom of the street. I could just picture a group of those running out and trying to eat me and Luna as we go for a walk. Brilliant. Yeah, now. Although, imagine being in the desert and seeing the flipping trike coming at you. Yeah, no, thanks. <clears throat> to us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures... Don't, don't leave your mouth right in the middle of the screen, you fool. ...in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, Dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, they are. is untenable to those in charge. Are well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem. Looks like baryonyx. I love baryonyx. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. Maybe. I'm Maybe it won't. The uncertainty. Maybe I'll ignore you. If this is anything like the first one, there is going to be so much talking, it's not even going to be funny. But we'll try. Listen to mission briefing. Oh, God. Okay, I guess Ooh. an introduction is in order. I'm Kevin that looks Lynch, dead pretty. Director of the US Department of Fish and Look at that. I know See every flipping leaf. Because it is. <laughs> But let's not get bogged Where's dinos? Oh, look at that water. Organizational flow charts. Baby. I'll make this easy. You work for me. Shut up. To it. <laughs> My face is covering his we'll face. How do you experts. like that one, huh? This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. 
And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. And yes, I'm the former operations you? manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. I can't click on anything and yet. God damn it! We were there to witness mm. destruction. I want to get on with dinosaurs. And this is Owen. He works with Velociraptors. Hmm. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal. He's gonna get eaten. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility. Equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4. Wait, where was the dinosaurs? The team helicopter. All right, so. This tutorial begins. Construct a response facility. Okie koki, that'll be one of these bad boys. And I've got to build it right there, do I? I'm going to build it as close as possible so the, the path costs me as little as possible. Yes, I'm just that stingy. Cool, isn't it? <clears throat> you're gonna need power. You're gonna. Oh, it's. It's really telling me what we're allowed. Building a backup generator. There. Feeding the energy it creates. And we want pathway. We want this one. Sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does us good. Yeah, we we don't want curves. I don't. I don't like curves. Nice straight paths, please. If we can help it, that is. Connect the response facility to the path. We've done that. Thank you very much. Speed time up. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this. Locate and tranquilize the nearby wild baryonyx. I knew it was a wild baryonyx. Then the sensor um, to take a capture team helicopter. Where is it? I assume it's straight ahead, where that little icon is on the hood. I'm, I'm not listening to these guys anymore. They're already boring me. Locate priority dinosaurs in the surrounding area by using the compass at the top of the screen while who'd have thunk it. Approach the dinosaur and use R to switch to aim mode. While in aim mode, use left click to fire tranquilize. Tranquilization darts. They're just trank darts to you and me. Control to go down. Is it control to go down? Yep, space to go up. Nope, I want, I want you facing this way, my dude. Where are you? I can control the helicopter a little bit from here. Wow, I'm gonna have to use my steady aim button. That is dead sensitive. Turn helicopter, turn. What oh, loser? How did you miss that? Right in the head. That's got him. We got him. I've got achievements popping up left, right, and centre, but. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. And we That's don't have to um, really? well, pick them up. Maybe one or two. Well, transport the very unexpected. It. Oh, okay. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We haven't have got a place for it, have we? Oh, we do. Just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Is he being rude? Back out and switch the new tools. Ah, there we go. Transport. Yes, yes, yes. This dinosaur right here is going to be moved across to, I assume, there? See, I'm, I'm trying to turn the camera with right click. It's middle mouse that turns the camera. Pause time to... Uh, blah. Pause time using space to take stock of... Oh, I love it when games have all got the same buttons. It's just brilliant. Accelerate time using 1, 2, and 3 to get faster, faster, faster. Moderate use of acceleration time. Yeah... I'm I'm a swine for leaving on hyperspeed because I'm dead impatient. And then space pauses. Wonderful job. I might swap. John Hammond rotate. was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. That nah, should be fine. It adds a whole new um, level of challenge. And go, Barry. Let's go. Opportunity. I do want to try and use photo mode in this as well because it's something that I didn't use much in the last one, but you can get some good screenshots if we do. Um, I see. You leave the baryonyx down there. Just plop him in the water. And he's awake again. Requires status check. Yeah, we did kind of shoot him a little bit. Instantly recognize this dinosaur. Me too. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. It looks a lot more like crocodile-like in this one. But we can certainly help this one. Oh, I guess that's just the scales and the, the graphics that have got better. If you're wondering why I know little bits about dinosaurs, thanks Ark and There's thanks Jurassic World movies. 
all the way through. We need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. We need a feeder, do we? Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. What what do you need to eat? Food. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I was checking for. I wanted to make sure I was giving him the um, absolute right stuff. That's what we need. Requires water. We just slap you one of those right there. Oh, no, you got some little fishies. It, it, it does tell you down here. I, I don't care. I'd rather learn myself how to like find these things up. Happy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaurs. Um, yes, I am a giant kid. Shut up. Owen will help you get a status of the animals overall welfare. We don't want to get too close, so I've got then, a feeling it's going to attack us. Ranger teams provide the latest we'll dinosaur, well the dinosaur welfare information I'll via a status check. Instruct ranger go, posts inside your right. enclosures so they you cover if all your species. Work, we'll ranger teams can then be assigned to patrol That's ranger posts right. and will periodically status check all dinosaurs in range. That's new. Out of range. That's cool as well. Oh. Check finished. He seems a little bit angry. He's coming towards me. We can't replicate what we had on the islands. We still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Can I just come out of this then? Right quick? Yeah. Are you seriously How can we make you more comfortable? Pretend asking. Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Um, yeah. You need less rocks, is that? I think that's less rocks. Uh, can I just like... God damn it. Does that make you happier? No, you need more rocks. It needs to go up. Oops, my bad. My bad. Foliage. Rocks, even rocks. Let's throw you one of those down and one of those down. Can I not see your. Oh, it says they're missing rocks, so you've not got to go all the way into it, right? Fair enough. Let's get some little rocks around here as well. To start out, I'll probably be quite good at this and um, spacing things out and trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing, but past that. I'm a bit of a swine. I just throw the things down for the sake of throwing it down. So we've got to meet its comfort rating for 30 seconds at least to get through the mission. That's fair. Oh, by the way, like I always say at the start of my series, please let me know if the sound is too loud or anything. I do tend to go back and watch a bit of the first episode just to make sure, but I've got a weird thing with sand and not being drowned out by it. So yeah, let me know. Uh, we could speed time up to get through this 30 seconds a bit quicker. What are we doing now? Gotta monitor these dinosaurs more closely. You can shoot a ranger post within the enclosure. Inside their enclosure. Assist. Assign a ranger team to patrol, Sam. That's what we're after. Ooh, that's got a rather large radius. I, I just want to square things up. There we go. Can I put this like literally right in the middle? Does it matter if it's in water? Oh! Now, I didn't really want you to do that because he might not be happy with that. Have you still got enough water, my dude? Ooh, it's only just on the edge with the rocks. No ranger team assigned. How do we do that on them? Select a ranger team. Add task. Do that. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. We have well, just may be accurate, give me a minute, Jesus. A complete picture of our current okay, and tranquilize the nearby angry wild triceratops. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instinct. Let's go. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more So they're over yonder. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But Let's go. Is, yes, I'm, I'm trying to turn the helicopter with the mass, but you, you can't do that. It's WOSD to turn and whatnot. Start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. Which and is a little bit weird, to be fair. Bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Can I can I can I get a photo? Ooh. Let's 
Now, I'll not be one for taking photos all the way through, but if I can do this for thumbnails, then that'd be quite cool. Although, I, I should have pressed screenshot, really, I guess, for that. Anyway, right. No, we don't want that. We want R, not F. Okay, well, he's going to sleep already. Let, let's leave him to it. Boom. Damn it. Go for the long shot, that's the one. And he's still asleep, so this should be easy enough. Yeah, just don't get up, dude, don't get up. Right, they're all tranquilized. Happy days. Let's build an enclosure for them. Construct a new enclosure and transport the Triceratops into it. I've, I've lost. We're, there's the base. Assume we're going with this enclosure that we've got right here then. I also assume it's about to tell me exactly where I've got to build it. Or it's not. Will that, will that be big enough? No, we don't need gates. Small electrified fence. Cool. You know what? Just go to there. And we can bring this down like that. Now, are you... I kind of wish it'd snap in a way that... Oh, it does. It does. It snaps just like that. It snapped to the corner so I could get a nice crisp square corner there. Now, that looks like it's not straight, but it's because it's going over a slight hill. Um, right, cool. We can get some transport in them. And over there. I keep wanting to click and hold. It's not. It's just a swift click. Obstructed. Excuse me. So that's them three on route. Beautiful. Let's just speed time up a little bit. Get them coming in faster. I believe there will be an actual photo mode. Let's have a quick look at the um, mouse and keyboard. Zoom in, zoom out, shortcut. I don't care about shortcuts. I normally always click the proper things. Capture mode, C. Would that be what I'm after? Yeah, because then I can pause things. Right, that's how I can get screenshots. I, I always like a game where I can get actual screenshots. To be fair, I normally miss the most climatic things. So, um, yeah, no. I'll probably not end up doing what I need to do, but... Right. These require a status check. I think we also need a path that comes down here a little bit further, don't we? Just, just keep coming down. Our operations are improving. That'll do. Confident we may get a handle on this yet. Uh, dinosaurs are the same species. Species, species. species. same species Still, form territory around, around them as they move. The oh, can you shut up, lady? As well as dinosaurs only consider area inside their territory the when determining the their comfort level. The okay, animals. territory that is not frequently visited shrinks over time to match the latest change to the dinosaur's environment. So you don't want to build them enclosures that are too big then right first things first they need a status check so rather than me doing that can i not just come to here and go to here and it seems we don't need loads of them they've got quite a large range can i move these once they've been placed no no i can't but still they should really have their own shouldn't they it only costs money, right? It doesn't cost power or anything. There you go. And let's add another task. And your second task is to go to that one. That's it. Requires status checked. Missing ground fiber, missing ground fiber. Yeah, that they need ground fiber, in case you didn't quite catch that. So let's go to environment. And ground fiber. Does it say what sort of ground fiber? Just, just dot it around. I'm trying not to upset the baryonyxes. Vehicle under attack. God damn it! 
We're just trying to look out for it. Um, they need a touch of water. They, they're okay with anything more than two population. Um, right, water. I'll give you some water. Stop attacking my bloody... There you go. There's a watering hole. Comfort, 100%. Bam. Easy. Ensure the triceratops are visible from the research viewing gallery. <clears throat> I guess that's this thing in here that kept flashing at me then. Um, I mean... Can, can you... I was going to say, you need to be on this side. So, how's about we slap one of those there, and then we've got a nice broad view of everything. It's going to say that we need to get the path to connect up with it, which is why I was kind of bringing the path down here ready. That's a little bit close. That's right. Just drag it all the way past. And go from there to there. Happy days. Do you need power? No, you're good. Operations. What do we need so now? Construction them Operational them Expedition free. Center. Our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. Another one? We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Oh, this isn't the same thing. I'm a fool. And your pathway needs to be there. Um, I'm assuming the yellow line means that... Um, angle snapping, you god. I'm assuming the yellow line means we're connected to power, so happy days there then. Yes, I was getting a bit finicky about the placement. Leave me alone. There we go. <clears throat> I've left the game on three times speed throughout the entire thing so far. I can't help it. I need things done I'll now. Be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Shh, 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 shh. Scientists are key members of the staff needed to perform specialist tasks. Browse the recruitment page to see which scientists are available to recruit. Scientists have three types of skill. Logistics, genetics, and welfare. Okay. Each task has a set of skill requirements that need to be met by the assigned scientists. Oversubscribing a particular skill requirement would increase the duration of the task. So, yeah, you can just, like, flood it, I guess. Recruit a new scientist at the control center. That's the control center. View scientists. <clears throat> what what jobs have we got going on? What do we... Oh. Research. Cost per minute. Per minute. Bloody hell. Oh. I mean... Mr. Oscar Cooper in the middle. Seems better. Increase the sum rest limit by four. Reduces salary by 50%. All right, then you seem better to me. It's just that you've got 211. Confirm. Mm, okay. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Live capture not expedition? We should excuse, assign excuse that me? scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? It is important to ensure your dinosaurs oh, are visible yeah. to guests from the buildings with visibility. Still muted. Check the dinosaur visibility view uh, mode to identify uh, gaps in your lose? coverage. You know, Areas around popular buildings with visibility will likely become congested with guests. Plan your park around this. Yes. Okay. Assign the scientist to the live capture expedition. Excuse me, what? Urgent message. Stop it! Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two injuries have been reported and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture the contained the threat. Um, seems like that needs to be done like sooner rather than later. And I believe this is your your task, lady. Have fun. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. What are they going to capture? Think of it is welcoming them back home. Four Stegosaurus. Okay. Why are they attacking everything? <clears throat> so we we already know. Show view. We know that they can see, like, this entire enclosure, which honestly looks quite wasteland-esque. 
Uh, but as they just said, we, we need to get another um, enclosure set up and ready. So how's about we do something of similar size? I was going to say, what's your territory? All of it. Yep, yep, that, that seems okay. Um, enclosures, so let's go with this. And is there any way... I can line this up so it's perfectly straight. That did snap to something then. There. Go. Let, let's slow down time a little bit. That that doesn't look like it's straight in the slightest. I'm not going to lie. It, it's going away from the road. No, no. <clears throat> uh, cool. So we, we've captured them. Give me two minutes, please. I need to slow down time. I could actually pause time, more importantly. All right. Eh. Fences. You know what? I'm going to be real OCD about this. Delete that a second. <laughs> I want my park to be square. You're going to go to about there. Come up like that. <clears throat> That's fine. Then we bulldoze. Then we come out of that one. Then we put the path back. Just like so. Aha. Uh -huh. And this then gets expanded up this way. We'll just... Oh, it snapped. I love it. Ooh. Outside buildable area. No! It's fine. We can work around this. We're going to go as close as humanly possible. And then we're going to curve where we need to. Or not. You know what? If that just goes completely straight, that's going to make a nice... Oh, that's not bad. Yes, I know you need to be closer to electric. Can we get another generator? Just slap one down here so it's kind of out of the way. Well, I wanted my thingy... It'll just go there for now. So that's all good. Uh, we're going to need one of these viewing facilities. Now, is that going to be able to see most of it? You can see most of it. I'm, I'm going on the proviso that we might have another one up this way. And we've not got a viewing thing for this either, have we? They've not told me to build one, but you know what? I want to be able to see my baryonyx. And let's get a path going up there. I, I'm just wasting money at the minute. Because why not, right? Skadoosh. Straight into there. Right, we are ready for the Stegosaurus. We've still got an entire minute left. Loads of time. Absolutely loads of time. And if I need to build another fence up this way, we're just going to have to have another angular one like this, so I'd probably go straight up there, across there, and then down at an angle. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why have we got to have all electrified fences? Are they just trying to be overly cautious, uh, cautious about it? Asset has been collected. Transit has commenced. Incoming Stegosaurus. Please don't crash into each other, for God's sake. What are you doing? Be careful. What are you going to do? You're just going to fly straight through now. I'm fairly sure that Stegosaurus just got blended up over there. Transport the Stegosaurus into the new safe enclosure. Hmm, beat you to that one, game. And I assume we are going to need... Okay, who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs you. comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll be viewing galleries. I'm, I'm, I'm setting safe. viewing galleries up already. You set it. Add task. Do that one as well. 
Yes. And we need to make sure these are happy. What are you missing? It needs a status check first and foremost. Well, I guess we just let the right... Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I guess you want your, um, your ranger posts closer to the gates. Um, I, I guess we need a gate so that we can get closer to our gates. Anybody? Steady. Controls. Steady. Just have it straight facing right there. And then our truck should be able to go get him. If you don't do it sometime soon, my dude, I'm going to do it myself. Oh, it's alright. He's doing it. Yeah, that is all the way in the middle. They're going to smack the crap out of that. <sighs> you status checking everything? Are we good? Missing ground fruit. Okay. Okay. Uh, fruit and nuts. This counts as ground fiber. Ground nuts. Oh, this, this counts as ground fruit. Lovely. Let's up that a little bit and just have a big spot of it there, there, and there. That they are totaling that flipping ranger. You need to get out of there, my dude. Is there no way to pin up what they actually need? Rather than me keep just coming in and out of this. They do... Kind of, yeah, they need more ground fiber, a bit of water. So the fiber and fruit, they just like it nice and um, foliage-y, I guess. Is that enough foliage for you? Uh, let's add a spot of water. That's about a little bit of a pond in the middle there. How's that grab you? Missing ground fruit. More? I, I can't add any more ground fruit? What? Wait a minute. Did I just come in here and add... Here we go. How's about that, huh? That looks a bit nicer. Content! Yes, why's your comfort only 93%? You need more ground fibre, for God's sake. Ground fibre. 100%. That's what we like to see. They are loving it. Good. Right, we can speed up time now. We've not, we're not waiting 30 seconds for 30 seconds to pass. Sort of muggle do you think I am? Oh, we're up to 5 million. Um, we're doing well. I think it's the baryonyx thing, really. Next. Ooh, weather warning received. Open emergency shelters for the duration of the storm. Owen. We emergency have a shelters. Problem. Open I'm shelters. Clear, but it's just, well, this is who I am. <clears throat> not you. Are they, are they getting in? Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how Run! Run! The, the storm's coming! Sandstorm headed our way oh, it's a sandstorm. The Wait, power, we're nearly out of fuel? The could be at serious risk. Okay. Listen, Nobody ever told me fuel was a thing? This out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, Generates 30 units of reserve power and distribution. No. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? That's expensive. Um, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. You are not allowed to eat my guests. Direct control. Let's go. Can we fly in a sandstorm? Is the other question. Baryonyx, don't do it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to put you down. Don't eat anybody. Steady, 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 steady. Aim up a bit because it dips. Apparently, it does not. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. Nope, as we're fine. As I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So who's I, I've already done this. And our personnel. Open emergency yes, shelters during dangerous storms and dinosaur escapes to avoid getting saying. hit. In your safety rating, yep. It's Tranquilize each rampaging dinosaur quickly. Use the name mode to lock on. Again. Yep, already done that. And Transport By them tragedy, back. Yep. I mean, Rampaging dinosaurs loss. can destroy, and damage or destroy sections of your enclosed fence, leave an open breach. People such as you. Uh, well, oh my God. Actually, exactly <clears throat> me. So how do we avoid that? Okay. Step one. 
round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then we'll work on our safety rings. This good? Did I place the wrong sort of power? I mean, there's no other sort of power for me to use, so. Right, you. Back in your cage. Did you destroy something? Yes, you did. Um, add task. Can you do that one now? Please. Before the baryonyx gets dropped off. Fuel and food. Power generation consumes fuel over time depending on how much power is being drawn from there. Ranger teams, capture teams and MVUs consume fuel and food as they complete tasks. These are stored at their respective buildings. Resupply food and fuel from the building's info panel as required. So I have actually got to go around and do it myself. How rude. <clears throat> so this is in need of a uh, resupply them. There we go. How's that? Um, how's that do it for you? Have you repaired this now? Are we all good? Everything fixed up? What's what's this issue over here? Oh yeah, we need to close all the shelters now. Ensure all dinosaurs are safely enclosed, and we're just dropping you straight into the water again. We're good like that. We know it'd wake the baryonyx up. See, he's good to go. You're missing rocks. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Um, there's a, a giant rock over there. Another one over there. Is, is it because you were like... Where is your... Is that That's it for your territory. Oh, that's not good. You need plenty more rocks then, don't you? Brave New World achievement unlocked. Okay, yep. Cool. Let's just add some of these here. And there. <clears throat> I just hope he doesn't swim into any of these. Oh. Mission complete. Well, that was easy. Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats you know, off our backs. If there wasn't a big For text now. box across the bottom, that would have been the a wonderful future? screenshot. That was something completely different. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? Campaign Washington Dinosaur. Dinosaur? Dinosaur poaching ring has recently been broken up by the authorities and after a disaster at their camp, dangerous dinosaurs are now loose in the region. Brilliant. Who allowed dinosaur poachers to poach dinosaurs? Stupid. Oh! So we've gone from desert to snow. I, wish we'd had more time to brief I, I want to. You know, the yeah, no, that fluid. skips. Sorry. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. Oh. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now. Other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. Yeah. However, I have history with many of the people <clears> involved <throat> here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more I don't know if you build a gate around there quickly, then that should be good for them. Right, so I, I kind of wanted to pause it so we didn't have to see that, because, you know, I... If I can split the uh, missions up into episodes, that would be dead cool. But, you know, we've now seen the introduction to Mission 2 in the first episode. Never mind. <clears throat> but that is where we're going to leave off for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It does help out massively with the first episode, leaving a like. So please, please go go leave a like. If, um, if you'd like to leave any comments or tips as well, that's always going to be massively useful. Again, never played this game. I have played the first one. It seems to play very similar to the first one for now, but still... If you notice anything I'm doing wrong, please feel free to point that out as well. And if you like what you've seen, feel free to subscribe as well. And again, links below. Go have a look at those. Other than that, though, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers!